important two marks questions from second unit that is carbohydrates and its metabolism so define glycolysis and write its significance so glycolysis can be defined as the sequence of reactions which convert glucose into pyruvate or lactate with the production of ATP is known as glycolysis significance the glycolysis takes place in all cells of the body and occur in cytosol the location of glycolysis is cytosol of the cell it occurs in absence of oxygen then the product is lactate is the end product and it can also occur in the presence of oxygen that is aerobic condition the product is pyruvate glycolysis is the major pathway for ATP synthesis in tissues like mitochondria erythrocytes cornea cells of the cell uh, eyes lens it is very essential for brain which is dependent upon glucose for energy so brain can completely depend upon glycolysis for the production of energy define Krebs cycle and write its significance so Krebs cycle can be defined as oxidation of acetyl coenzyme A into carbon dioxide and water is known as Krebs cycle which is also known as TCS cycle significance it is the final common oxidative pathway for carbohydrates fats amino acids through the acetyl coenzyme A so the carbohydrates after oxidation converted into pyruvate and that will be converted into acetyl coenzyme A amino acids can also be converted into acetyl coenzyme A finally and fats can also be converted into acetyl coenzyme A finally so all can be entered into the Krebs cycle that's why it is the common oxidative pathway about 65 to 70 percent of energy can be produced in the Krebs cycle in our body the name of TCA cycle is because of tricarboxylic acids such as uh, citrate cyst aconitis and isocitrate so these three are having three carboxylic acids in their structure so this cycle occur in the mitochondrial matrix define HMP shunt and write its significance HMP shunt or hexose monophosphate pathway or which is also known as pentose phosphate pathway or pentoglyconate pathway so it can be defined as oxidation of glucose into carbon dioxide and water known as HMP shunt so this pathway is an alternative pathway to the glycolysis and uh, Krebs cycle for oxidation of glucose so in this pathway NADPH and pentose molecules can be formed so there is no ATP is directly utilized or produced in this pathway so this pathway occur in cytosol of liver adipose tissue and uh, testis so they can be involved in the fatty acid formation steroidal biosynthesis so all fatty acid biosynthesis and steroidal biosynthesis require NADPH molecule that can be produced in the HM patient add a note on glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase deficiency glucose 6-phosphate deficiency is an inherited sex linked trait this deficiency occur in all cells of the body but more severe in the RBC so HMP shunt provides NADPH in erythrocytes decrease the activity of glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase impair synthesis of NADPH in RBC and this may cause us accumulation of methemoglobin and peroxides leads to hemolysis so clinical manifestations of this disease hemolytic anemia severe infection causes the gen generation of free radicals in the macrophages which can enter into the RBC and causes hemolysis it is associated with the resistance to the malaria define diabetes mellitus and mention types diabetes mellitus is a clinical condition which is characterized by hyperglycemia that is increased blood glucose due to the insufficient uh, supply of insulin or inefficiency of insulin 
so it is of two types one is insulin dependent diabetes mellitus second one is non insulin dependent diabetes mellitus so iddm also known as type 1 which occur in childhood at the age of 12 to 15 years so this is due to destruction of beta cells of the pancreas non insulin dependent diabetes mellitus or type 2 which can occur which can occur in the adult this is due to the genetic or environmental most commonly occur obese individuals so in obese individuals diabetes mellitus type 2 can be uh, widely occur write a note on glycogen storage diseases <clears throat> glycogen storage diseases can be occur due to the storage of glycogen in the liver so the following diseases occurs one is von Gerg disease so this disease is due to the deficiency of glucose 6 phosphatase enzyme the effects are glycogen accumulate in liver and kidney cells and hyperlipidemia ketosis gouty arthritis can occur second one Holmes disease so this is due to the lysosomal alpha 14 glucosidase enzyme deficiency so the symptoms are uh, glycogen accumulate in all tissues especially in heart so heart failure occur at the early age third one is Anderson's disease this is due to the glycosyl 46 transferase enzyme deficiency so effects include glycogen accumulate in liver so the liver enlarges so cirrhosis and liver impairment occur fourth one is Hertz disease so this is due to the liver glycogen phosphorylase deficiency so this causes liver enlargement and liver glycogen cannot form glucose and ketosis occurs define glycogenesis and write its significance Glycogenesis means it is the synthesis of glucose from non-carbohydrate sources such as pyruvate or lactate or glycerol is known as gluconeogenesis. Neo means new glucose molecule from the metabolites. Significance It occurs in the cytosol mainly and uh, some precursors produced in mitochondria of the liver and kidney matrix. So the brain central nervous system erythrocytes depend on glucose for continuous supply of glucose so they depend upon the gluconeogenesis the glucose supply energy to the skeletal muscle under anaerobic conditions also the glucose which is produced from gluconeogenesis supply energy in the absence of oxygen in skeletal muscle in fasting more than one day gluconeogenesis occur and supply glucose so that means uh, the metabolites pyruvate lactate or glu glycerol that can convert into glucose and supply energy in the fasting conditions more than a day metabolites such as pyruvate lactate propionate can be cleared by gluconeogenesis define glycogenesis and glycogenolysis glycogenesis means the synthesis of glycogen from glucose is known as glycogenesis so it takes place in the cytosol and requires ATP and uridine type prospect glycogen can be rapidly metabolized and can generate energy in the absence of oxygen also glycogenolysis that is degradation of stored glycogen in liver and muscle called glycogenolysis it occur in the cytosol and breakdown alpha by the breakdown of alpha 14 and alpha 16 glycosidic linkages so glycogen is a tree like structure so that can be converted into glucose molecule by the breakdown of these alpha 14 and alpha 16 glycosidic linkages Give examples for 
inhibitors of electron transport chain and oxidative plasma relation. So, such an amytal proteinone and uh, pyrazidine can inhibit the electron transport chain at uh, FM and coenzyme Q link. Next, antimycin A, British anti levicide can inhibit the electron transport chain at cytochrome B and cytochrome C1 link. Next, cyanide, carbon monoxide, sodium azide, they can inhibit the electron transport chain at cytochrome A3 and oxygen link. Next, oxidative phosphorylation inhibitors. So, mainly uncouplers inhibit the oxidative phosphorylation. So, they uncouple the electron transport chain and oxidative phosphorylation and increase permeability of inner mitochondrial membrane to H plus ions and it leads to inhibition of ATP synthesis. So, the impermeability of inner mitochondrial membrane to the H plus ions, it may create a proton gradient and that may result into the production of energy by the transportation of H plus from mitochondrial uh, from in intermembrane space to the matrix so by the rotating of f0 f1 shaft so there is generation of atp by the combination of adp and pi so if that permeability is changes so that leads to free flow of h plus ions from intermembrane space to h plus ions so there is no proton gradient so no energy can be produced examples for uncouplers so 2 4 dinitrophenol so this is used for weight loss thermogenin thermogenin thyroxine long chain free fatty acids oligomycin attractyloside are the examples for uncouplers define oxidative phosphorylation the process of synthesizing atp from adp and pi coupled with the electron transport chain is known as oxidative phosphorylation. Electron transport chain and oxidative phosphorylation can occur or both are linked and occur simultaneously. So the complex 5 of the in inner mitochondrial membrane is the site of oxidative phosphorylation. Define PO ratio and give examples. PO ratio is nothing but the number of inorganic phosphate molecules utilized for ATP generation for every atom of oxygen consumption is known as PO ratio or which is also known as number of ATP molecules synthesized per two electrons transport. If two electrons are transported in the electron transport chain that can be reaches to the oxygen molecule. So for in that process how many inorganic phosphate molecules can be utilized to produce ATP are known as PO ratio. So NADH can generate a 3 ATP molecules by the taking of 3 phosphate molecules. FADH2 can generate 2 ATP molecules by taking of 2 phosphate molecules. So the NADH PO ratio is 3 and FADH2 PO ratio is 2. Define substrate level phosphorylation and give examples. ATP can be directly synthesized during substrate oxidation in the metabolism is known as substrate level phosphorylation. Generally, ATP can be generated in the oxidative phosphorylation, but ATP can also synthesized during the substrate oxidation also. So that's why it is known as substrate level phosphorylation. Examples for this one is 1,3 bis phosphoglycerate conversion into 3 phosphoglycerate. So, it can occur in the kinase enzyme presence and ADP molecule can be converted into ATP by the taking of phosphate from 1,3 bis phosphoglycerate. Second example is phosphoenol pyruvate conversion into pyruvate in the presence of kinase. So, in this also, ADP accept inorganic phosphate from phosphoenol pyruvate and make ATP. So these are questions from unit 2.